Hi, this lecture is about regression. What we will discuss is the simple linear regression, multiple linear regression, R square, mean square error and root mean square error, ridge regression and lasso regression. The simple linear regression, I think we have all studied in high school this concept of a line where y is equal to mx plus c. Here I have made it beta 0 plus beta 1x plus c. y is a dependent variable and the variable we wish to predict. x is an independent variable also called the predictor variable. beta 0 is intercept, beta 1 is the coefficient and epsilon is a error term only source of randomness in y. So this is a plot which is y the predicted variable and x is the depend is the is it is a predictor variable or the variable which is used to predict. So this is a predicted line and you see these pink dots here around the line and this is actual figure and the error is this portion which is the difference between the predicted minus the actual. So let's consider a very fascinating uh, case study of linear regression and we mix wine tasting and the economist. Professor Oli Ashfentel, Ashfen, Ashenfelter a Princeton economics had devised a mathematical formula for predicting the quality of red wine vintages in France. He had predicted the price of the wines without tasting the wines using linear regression. Robert M. Parker Jr., generally regarded as the most influential wine critic in America, called Professor Ashenfelder's research ludicrous and absurd. So, this is about the multiple linear regression where multiple variables are involved. So, like if I am going to predict sales, like it is spent on radio and television advertising and spent on in store displays, these two variables predict the sales. The difference between the simple linear regression and the multiple linear regression is that the multiple linear regression involves two variables. The multiple linear regression of the wine price that we were talking of. So the wine price is the, is a predicted variable and what are the predictors? The temperature during the av harvest season in average degrees centigrade. The summer temperature, the winter rainfall, harvest rainfall and age of the wine. So these are the factors which are affecting the wine price. So you get the idea that there are multiple variables which are affecting the wine price. Now we come to another fascinating example in which we consider the Boston housing data and it is a median value of owner occupied homes in thousands. And these are the various factors, the 13 factors which are there, which you see are quite varied, Sim like how close it is to the river, the number of rooms, the age of the houses, how far it is from the five Boston employment centers, the full value property tax, the pupil teacher ratio in the school, and the per capita crime rate, all these factors are coming in and they are predicting the value of the house price. So this is quite fascinating, a number of factors coming in and how they are affecting the predicted variable that is the median value of owner occupied homes. Now the next question comes that how good is the model? So there are different matrices metrics that are used and we will discuss one by one. So let's introduce the some terms that we have used. SST is the total sum of squares 
and SSE is the sum of square errors. What is SST? It is the sum of square of the actual value minus the average of the dependent variable. SSE is the sum of the square of actual value minus the predicted variable. R square is 1 minus SSE by SST. When R square is 0, means there is no improvement over the baseline because here if you see this, this average is a baseline and R square 1 means a perfect predictive model. Another thing that is very commonly used is the root mean square error. What is it? SSE is a sum of square of actual value minus the predicted value which is very easy to understand. What is the mean square error? It is SSE by the number of observations. The root mean square error which is commonly known as RMSE is the square root of the mean square error. So very simple metric. We now introduce another regression model. Here it is called a penalized regression model. So penalized regression model utilizes two parameters, two components. That is the sum of square errors and it has a tuning parameter that is lambda which is multiplied by the sum of squares of coefficients in case of ridge regression and a tuning parameter lambda multiplied by the sum of absolute value of coefficients in case of lasso regression. In this way the value of the coefficients are penalized for being too large. This method of modeling improves accuracy over unseen data. If you are mathematically oriented, this following expression expresses what we have described in words. So this one is the sum of square errors y hat uh, minus yi. So that is this is a predicted variable and this is an actual variable. So this is sum of squares and lambda is a tuning parameter. And here what we are doing is that sum of squares of the coefficients. So beta is a coefficient and it is where we are summing it up. So it is a rich regression and for the lasso one it is a mod of the coefficient. Hope you like this lecture. This completes a very simple introduction to regression. Thank you. Bye.